This is Ultra Echo here with Jennifer Hale, and I am so pleased to present her. Hi, I have a face. She has a face. <laughs> She's not just the voice in your favorite video game. She does exist. So, Jennifer, thank you so much for it, being here. My absolute pleasure. You're the first female voice actress I've had on the Shut show. Shut up, this really? This is the first, yes. Wow. You gotta Hi. represent. So, can oh, is you... that a bad sign? Did I just make a bad sign? I'm sorry. No gang signs. Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So tell me, when did you first realize that you wanted to do video game like voiceovers or just voiceover in general? Um, I kind of fell into it when I was like in high school, and then I moved out here a few years later. And one of my first auditions was for a cartoon series, and I didn't really watch cartoons as a kid. That was the big joke. But really? I had, yeah, I had an acting background, so I was like, okay. And I read the script, and I was like, this looks like fun. And so I just jumped in and did it, and it just seemed to work for me. It just seemed to be a match. And then when games came along, it was it was really weird. It was really foreign. It was like, what? I'm doing, how many <laughs> lines do I have? What? How many different responses, and they're going to do what? And then as they've developed, they become one of my total favorite things, because the way that they're going now, they're getting... They're getting more and more and more realistic and more and more film-like, and that is just so much fun. That's great. Yeah. We love what you've done. You have <laughs> a huge fan base. Thank you. So is there a voice that you get asked to do a lot? Mm, I kind of have the most fun doing a bunch of different things, you know? So that's sort mm -hmm. of something that I'm, I don't know that I'm known for, it, but in terms of, like, just the business side of it, I can bring a lot of different things to the party. You know, I, awesome. I, and it sounds really arrogant, but so if I have a party, what would you bring to my party? <laughs> ah, let's see, I'd bring guacamole and <laughs> chips and maybe some cookies and something to drink um, and salsa and salsa. Hot, yeah, I see salsa. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the voice of Samus. If yes. You can see on my shirt yes. here. I'm wearing my Me Samus too. shirt. <laughs> so she is like the original video game babe. Really? So yeah. Wow. So can you tell me about that? Like, did that mean anything to you? You know, I don't really think about the back end of it. I think more about to me the game is better for you as the player if I just throw myself in a thousand percent to whatever's on that page in front of me and live it as hard as I can. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's like in the suit, you know. Were you kind of like at first like, wait, does she talk? Or yeah, it was a little. It was a little interesting and different. I mean, that was a while back too, and it was just like when you're first getting used to these stories and how they go and how they evolve and stuff. So I kind of looked at it and I was like, wow, okay, this is really interesting. All right, let's just see where it goes. And you just do it. You mm -hmm. just like you have come to. up with the voice? Commit. It's, it's, it comes out of the page. It comes out of the mind of the creators. Uh, to me, I am I'm a tool. <laughs> I am a tool. <laughs> oh, she said it. She admitted it. <laughs> no, I'm just there. I am really just there for the creators of the show. It's my favorite thing to realize their vision as completely as I can. So it really is coming out of their mind through me onto your you know, game console. Wow. That's, you know. It's so enlightening. <laughs> oh, my God. This is serious stuff. <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> so there's a little bit of chemistry be between Samus and Snake. So do you think they would work as a couple? I mean, she's got the suit. Really? She has the suit. And Snake's got the sexy. I mean, like he does. She could kick his butt. Combine it. She could keep him in line. Ooh. She could keep up with him. She could surpass him, <laughs> and let him catch up. Yeah, oh. I think it might work. <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. Could you say impressive Snake? Could you? Let's see, see it. Okay, I gotta remember how that one goes. Impressive snake. It would go like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I want you to do it. <laughs> Impressive snake. <laughs> nice. We're getting a little silly here. Oh my god. Christopher Randolph. I just did an interview with him recently. Yeah, I saw that. He said that you've got that babe voice. That any character played by you is usually sexy. <laughs> Who is your favorite Metal Gear babe? Any character played by Jennifer Hale is going <laughs> to pretty much do it for me. She's usually playing the babe and she's got that, you know, that sort of babe voice. How do you she's feel crazy. about that? I, it cracks me up. I'm like, well, <laughs> really? Okay. And then I talk in a really unsexy voice. Um, that's so funny. It's, it's an, Okay, that's cool. Thanks, Christopher. <laughs> Ooh, awkward. You embarrassed her. He's going to watch this. Oh, God. Video game voiceovers are such a large part of your work. Yeah. Have you ever tried to play them? Because I know you said that you don't. <laughs> I have but tried and it's attempt. just... It's not pretty. It's just not pretty. I'm much better at being in them than trying to play them. It's just not my scene. I, uh, I, I frankly suck at it. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because you bring them to life. So I, see, I can't, that's I can't ask for much more than that. <laughs> so what about like when you die when you're doing voiceover? Oh, is that yeah. difficult for It depends. You? It, the best thing about dying is when they know specifically how you die. Because someone will say, okay, you die here. I'm like, okay, am I shot? Am I stabbed? Do I get exploded? Do I fall off? You know, obviously if you fall off a cliff, they know that. But mm -hmm. like something hits you and you die. Okay, where is it going to hit me? In the head? That's one sound. You know, in the gut? Does my arm come off and I bleed to death? There's a million ways to die. And the more specific specific I can be the better it is I hate when I just hear random grunts it really upsets me because it's mm, ripping yeah. you guys off mm -hmm. and it's not right it's true you know? so when you get hurt in real life is that like how you reference like <laughs> you know it's I so just got scratched oh so that's it. true I was, <laughs> I was chasing my horse one time we were playing we were playing I know it sounds crazy but we were playing tag in this arena and I'm chasing him around and it was a really deep sandy arena and I tripped and I just did a full-on face plant and it was like you know one of those things <laughs> And as I go down and I get the wind knocked out of me, I'm thinking, oh, i got to remember that sound. Yeah, that's wow. good. Wow. Look how dedicated. I, she's I, so dedicated <laughs> to her job. Even when she's getting hurt, she's like, I'm working. <laughs> I'm using this. It's funny. You know, it makes a difference. If someone's putting on their boots and they're talking and they're just talking and putting on their boots, or maybe those boots are hard to get on, you know, and it impacts how you talk. It does. And it brings wow. it to life. It makes it more fun for you guys. It does. So, wow. Yeah. So let's move on. Let's talk a little bit about Dr. Naomi. Yeah. My look here solid. I got some beef with her. <laughs> Did you feel bad for some of the stuff you had to say to Snake? <sighs> no. Oh, man, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold in here. It's freezing. You know, Naomi did what she had to do. It's for, crazy. She made mistakes, and then she tried to make them right again. But she was absolutely committed no matter what. She was. Yeah. You know, and she's got her own agenda throughout Metal Gear Solid 1 and MGS4. Mm -hmm. So, did you feel any connection to her? I mean, like, she's conniving and sneaky, and she's got all these plans and secrets. And If you're going to play a character, you have to connect to them. You have to uh, inhabit them. You have to become them, and you have to find the positive behind every negative. How did you feel? I mean, I would have felt dirty. I would have felt bad. <laughs> I showered a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean, um... I didn't. I didn't judge it. Really, you can't. You can't judge it and play it because you're. Then you're always kind of outside of it. You have to really just believe it, buy into it for that time that you're in that room, and then you can leave it in the room. That's good. What was your reaction when you found out that Naomi and Otacon hooked up? Because I mean, like you were <laughs> Emma in MGS2. You were his sister, I and you hooked up with him. Was that weird for you? Yeah, it's kind of creepy. But then I just drew a line. I put up a firewall, and I didn't think about it. And just. <laughs> Tuck it away. It doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, it cracked me up actually. I thought I actually thought it was very, like, um, scheming of her, very goal oriented of oh, her. Yeah. That's a place where she and I are completely different. I'm just incapable along those lines. But she's not, and that's part of the beauty of this job is you get to do stuff you would never do. <laughs> you know. So Dr. Naomi is the only woman in the Metal Gear Solid series that gets to see Snake naked. Yeah. What do you have any tips for the the ladies watching? Because you know Snake, he's a hot ticket. You know, sit down, hold on tight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, would you mind giving us like a short demonstration of some of your skills? Oh my goodness! Just run through a couple of silly voices you got. Oh God! Tell okay. Me your favorites. You have you, well. The way this works is you have to tell me what you want to hear, and you have to give me a line for it, and then I'll do it. Okay. Okay. So let's do let's do a little kid. Okay. Um, you want that toy. Boy or girl? You can do both? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's my job. I need to eat. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's hear the girl. How old? Uh, five. Please, can I have it? Come on, please. I'll, I'll clean my room. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, okay, could you, can we do like a, an old bitter woman? Maybe she's in her 90s. And she's got some kids on her lawn. Get off my lawn! Off my lawn! <coughs> <coughs> oh my god! So could we could we hear a little Naomi? Ah, uh, let's see. Um, Snake, this isn't something I wanted to do. It's what I had to do. So don't argue with me. Tears, tears in my eyes. <laughs> transform back. Mm. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, Those absolute pleasure. All the wonderful absolute questions Absolute pleasure. Had thank you. That's Thanks, Jennifer you Hale. Thanks for watching. Jennifer Hale here, voice of Naomi Hunter from Metal Gear 4. Stay tuned and stay infected. <laughs>